let's make a composite table that represents the very hard difficulty. We will right click in the content browser, go to miscellaneous, and go to composite data table. Click our code row struct. So if I click the plus, we'll get a slot for a data table. You can see here that it just has the default data. Now I'll add another slot, which will be a layer on top of the base table, which allows us to override the rows. Add the hard layer, which will change the health for the dragon and the vampire. Now we'll add the very hard layer on top of that layer. We can see the minion health values changing from the very hard layer. And for the very hard entry, we will set it to our composite table for very hard and test the easy difficulty, which has the dragon at 200 health, change the difficulty to very hard, and run by. We can see that the dragon's health is now 2000. Now in code, we have our enum. We have our table row base, which defines the spreadsheet values. And we have our game state subclass, which is where I set the difficulty and the difficulty mapping. And we have a tmap, which maps our difficulty to a specific composite table. I also have an actor, which is assigned a specific row to display data. What the actor displays will change based on the current setting of difficulty on the game state. Now, what's interesting is if we remove the middle layer, things still work correctly. It's just that the middle layer is controlling the dragon's health. You can see the second layer is providing the 2000, it drops to 1000, back to 2000, then 200. And now we can see the middle layer is not having any effects because the last layer was taking priority. Now if we go over here and we click Reimport, our dragon is now set to 3000. And in the composite table, it was updated to 3000. We were able to update this table independently from the composite table. Disclaimer. This video assumes that you know how singular data tables work. I have a video on that if you're not familiar with those, but I think you can watch this video and still get value out of it without having watched that video. But if you want more in-depth details, then see that video for regular data table usage in C++. Let's explore composite tables by building a difficulty system that layers tables on top of each other. Here I have an enum defining the difficulties easy, normal, hard, and very hard. I have a table row, which we use to define health and damage. I populate the data in spreadsheets. Here we have all the different minion types, their health and their damage. We can view that in the editor in the data table asset. We can see the same data that was populated in the spreadsheet. I also have other tables that act as layers on top of this table. So this is the easy layer that changes the health of the vampire and the dragon. Here is a table for the hard layer. And in the hard layer, I'm actually increasing the vampire's health and the dragon's health, as you can see here. If we open up the layer for very hard, we can see that we're increasing the dragon's health and the health of the minions. So the difficulty is actually set in a game state. So I have a property here, which is an enum, and lets you change the difficulty. So now let's make a composite table that represents the very hard difficulty. We will right click in the content browser, go to miscellaneous, and go to composite data table. We'll pick our code row struct, and then press OK. We'll give it a name. I'll name it CT prefix to easily distinguish it. We'll open it up. So now what we need to do is add our data table layers to this, which is the composite table. So if I click the plus, we'll get a slot for a data table and we'll set it to our base table, which is most of the data for the game. You can see here that it just has the default data. Now I'll add another slot, which will be a layer on top of the base table, which allows us to override the rows. Now I'll add the hard layer, which will change the health for the dragon and the vampire. And you can see here, if I toggle between it, the health values are changing. From the base table. Now we'll add the very hard layer on top of that layer. So if I go down and select the data table for the very hard layer, and if I undo and redo, we can see the minion health values changing from the very hard layer. I can double click on the very hard layer to see its contents. It is just a data table that can be re imported atomically. And I'll just rearrange these real quickly so we can look at each layer. Here's the base table. And here's the hard layer table. And here is the very hard layer table. 
Now we can go back to our composite table and see the end result of combining all those different layer tables. If I open up the easy composite table, you can see it's the base table with the easy layer on top of it. If I open up the hard composite table, you'll see it's just the base table and the hard layer, but no very hard layer. And I'll just open up our very hard composite table that we just made with the three layers of base, hard, and very hard. Now in the game state, we'll go to our difficulty T map. And for the very hard entry, we will set it to our composite table for very hard. I will compile that and we can test the easy difficulty, which has the dragon at 200 health, the vampire at 50 health, and these various minions at different values defined by the table. If we go back to the game state and change the difficulty to very hard, and then go back to Pi and run Pi, we can see that now that minion has a health of 40, and the other minions are also affected by the difficulty change. We can see that the dragon's health is now 2000. Now in code, we have our enum, which defines the data. We have our table row base, which defines the spreadsheet values. And we have our game state subclass, which is where I set the difficulty and the difficulty mapping. I chose to use the game state since that's easily replicatable in a co op environment. So the game state has functions to get the difficulty and difficulty mapping. The difficulty is a U property. It's just our enum type defining difficulty. And we have a T map which maps our difficulty to a specific composite table, which is also a U property. I also have an actor which is assigned a specific row to display data. What the actor displays will change based on the current setting of difficulty in the game state. In the constructor, we just have a root scene component, and attached to that is a child text component to display data. And we have a begin play override. First, we call the super, and then we get the world pointer. And with the world, we can get the game state and type it to our custom subclass. And with this game state subclass pointer, with the game state, we can request a difficulty mapping to get our composite table. We can also request the current difficulty. Then we can use the difficulty mapping to find off of the current difficulty to return a composite table for that given difficulty. With the composite table, we will get the current table table override. And we'll change the data table on our row struct to point to the difficulties data table. And so now our data table row points to a composite table. So the whole row struct is reading from a different data source. Now our row name did not change. We just changed the data table it's pointing to in the row struct, effectively querying from a different location. So lastly, in begin play, we need to display our data. So we'll use our row struct, which is just that regular T data table row handle. And we can use the row to get a row struct with data. We can then read that data from the row, format it into a string, and set it on our text component. And our format string has health, damage, and name. We convert the health to a F text using the helper function, same with damage. And for the name, we convert that string to a F text with this other helper. And just as a reminder, the table row handle is just a row name, and a data table. You can see my data table video for more information. Now we can go to the editor and see that we're set to easy. We can pie again, fly over, and see the dragon's health is set to 200. If we open up the composite table, we can see the dragon's health at 200. This is defined in the easy layer. If we open up the base table, we can see that the health is actually supposed to be set to 1000. Now if we set the difficulty to normal in the game state, and we go to pi, we can now see the health is set to 1000. If I open up the hard layer, we can see that the health is set to 2000. If I open up the composite table for hard, we can see that the health of the dragon is correctly set to 2000 because of the layer. If I revert that layer, we can see that the dragon's health reverts to 1000. Now, if we go to the game state, we can see we are on the normal difficulty. 
And before we change it, we will just apply real quick to see the dragon's health. And the dragon's health is set to 1,000 as expected for the normal difficulty. Now, if I stop Pi and go back to the game state, and we set it to the hard difficulty, then we go back and Pi, we can see that the dragon's health is now 2,000 as expected for the hard difficulty. Now, if we open up the very hard composite table, we can see that the dragon health is at 2,000. Now, if we remove that layer, the primary thing that changes is the minion. Now, what's interesting is if we remove the middle layer, things still work correctly. It's just that the middle layer is controlling the dragon's health. And the last layer is controlling the minion health. Just to demonstrate, I can add another slot and set that to the easy data table layer. And the dragon now has 200 health as it's overriding the second layer. You can see the second layer is providing the 2000, it drops to 1000. Back to 2000, then 200. And now we can see the middle layer is not having any effects because the last layer was taking priority. If we go back to the game state, we can see that the difficulty is currently set to hard. If we pi, we can see this minion has 20 health and 20 damage. If we go back to the game state and change the difficulty to very hard, and then go back to pi, and run pi, we can see that now that minion has a health of 40, and the other minions are also affected by the difficulty change. As a reminder on the gameplay framework, we have this game stage here, and we have in the world settings a game mode override, and we've set it to this game mode here. And that game mode has the game state set as part of its properties, and that game state is where we are defining our difficulty values right here. which is just a t-map of mapping difficulty enum values to a specific composite table. And that composite table is the layering of multiple data tables to achieve the correct balance for the given difficulty. I hope that helps. One slight correction in the very hard layer, you'll notice that there's no dragon, but in the spreadsheet for dragon, we had set the health to 3000. This is just related to importing. Uh, so if you go to the composite table of very hard, we can see the dragon's at 2000. Now if we go over here and we click re-import, our dragon is now set to 3000. And in the composite table, it was updated to 3000. So this allows you to kind of be modular and have subtables. So we were able to update this table independently from the composite table. If you know anyone that could benefit from this video, feel free to share with them. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns in the comment section. And until next time.